amigos, Robert Galloway here, and this is my very first episode of The Real Estate Dude. Um, I'm a real estate agent out here in the Antelope Valley, and real estate is a very big passion of mine. And also, fishing is a very big passion of mine, so I'm going to be combining the two. Let's see how that works out. I mean, two things everybody loves is a big fish and a big house, and I think we can cover both of those. Um, I'm just starting out, so I did order a bunch of gear off of uh, the internet. I got it from multiple different places, and um, I do, I did do a lot of bargain shopping. I like to save a buck when I can. It's kind of fun haggling and uh, negotiating prices with everybody. Um, I bought, uh, well, you can see here, I just got a new GoPro. These things are awesome, they're tiny. I just got it a couple of days ago, so I haven't even had a chance to uh, play around with it as much as I like to. Um, and some of the stuff in here is really good. I've also heard from a lot of people, be careful with the GoPro, the audio is terrible. Okay, so uh, to cover my base, I got a the wireless Rode um, microphones. These are pretty awesome, I heard. So, um, again, they're still in the box here. Um, I took them out, looked at them, but I haven't even had a chance to charge them up, play with them, and we can do this together. I think it'll be pretty fun. Okay, um, I did purchase some other things on the internet to go with my GoPro, and let's take a look and see what we got here. This is a multi-package. This has over 50 different products in it. It's from uh, Newer. Um, again, I was looking at GoPro products. They are quite expensive. This was $23. 23 bucks for certain things. I looked them at YouTube and just for the chest mount alone was I think $39 uh, or $29. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it, it covered all, you know, way over the price of just this alone. So, let's take a look and see what we got here. Let's open this up together. Oh, wow. This case is quite stout. I'm impressed. Okay. So there, there is a lot here. Let me move the box out of the way. Um, I'm going to put on my glasses so I can see a little bit better with you guys. Um, oh, first one, right? This was one of the things I bought it for. First thing I grabbed right out of here, and everything is individually packed, which is pretty nice. This is for um, a hat mount. So you can clip this right onto your hat. It's pretty good. And again, this was like $10 just, just for this piece from GoPro. Um, and this seems pretty good, but you know, we'll see how that works out. Okay, and here's a strap. I believe this is the, uh, the wrist strap or a helmet strap it is. We got all sorts of mounts here. Wow. I mean, 23 bucks, you can't go wrong with this. So if you want to save a buck, yeah, it looks like a handlebar mount. Some more links for um, the GoPro. A couple of mounts here for the, the screws for other mounts, which is pretty good, I mean, so far, I'm liking it, 23 bucks. Now, I'm sure the quality is not gonna be as good as a GoPro, the GoPro products, but if I got this as an experiment. So 23 bucks, I'm gonna see what I like about it and you know, check it out. And if I really use what, you know, one or two things a lot, then maybe I'll upgrade to a better quality product. You know, just like anything else, 
Um, I, I told you I was going to cover two talk, topics, fishing and real estate. So when I first started fishing, I didn't have the most extravagant gear out there on the market. I had, you know, I, it was junk. It was probably, I think I bought it at Kmart or Jimco way back in the day. <laughs> yeah, that's how long I've been fishing. So, but nowadays the technology and everything has come, uh, it's, it's unbelievable the stuff they have nowadays. And we'll go over that too. But let's get back to this here. Now, um, I didn't do a lot of camping and uh, I love the ocean. So here's a floaty. Let me take this out of here. So you can put your GoPro right on there. There you go. So if you drop it in the water, whew, good, I'm happy. Okay, put that back down over there. Oh, it has a little bracelet or uh, a wrist strap. Nice. What else do we get here? Oh, some more pads for to, for to mount stickies. Nice. This is way better than I expected. Oh, another thing I wanted to because um, I see a lot of fishing videos. And some people are using just the chest mount. And it doesn't get as good as picture for some, in some cases, is the head strap. So, I wanted both. And this came with both. And this here alone is 10 bucks. This alone here is 10 bucks, or 14.99 I believe it is. And we're already, you know, we're saving so much money. It, it, and again, if something happens to it, you know, it's not the great quality, I mean, it's cheap. I mean, it's great. So let's see what else we got in here. A chest mount. So um, I can, I'm going to be getting another GoPro here shortly. Um, I love the Hero 8. I've done a lot of research. That's my thing is I do a lot of research on some things. And the Hero 8 is just amazing. I did a couple of short videos um, just messing around with it and it's phenomenal. I can't wait to take it out. We're still, I think day 36 now, or 34 or 36 on the um, COVID lockdown, which um, I'm not real happy about, but you know, it is what it is. Um, oh, here we go. A little tripod. Little mini tripod. Um, this, yeah, I don't think I'll be using this, <laughs> but um, it's there, Casey. So we'll put that away. And oh, a selfie stick. Not bad. It's not the most stout thing. Um, I won't be jumping off any cliffs with it. Maybe my pool, because I'll be able to find my GoPro in the pool, but... Put that to the side. What else do we got here? Huh. Wrist strap. I got some pretty big wrists, let's see if it fits. Oh, yeah. It works. I don't know how I'm gonna, I think I can just hold it, but I don't know how this will work. I'll try it. Uh, another strap here, I think this is the helmet strap. And another thing I, I, I like when Thank goodness we can edit some of this stuff out. <laughs> it's a little mount, you know. You can mount in your, in your car. Or... But I don't, this, this doesn't look too, I would not put this on the outside of my car, that's for sure. Maybe in the inside where you're driving to your destination talking, driving to a different fishing spot or to uh, 
a listing that I'm going to be have showing you how to uh, all about real estate as well. Everything you want to know about real estate, we're afraid to ask. Okay, and a lot more. Oh, jeez. Even more books. There's more in here. Scored 20 bucks, you can't go wrong. Now, this is pretty cool. This is to um, get it away a little bit, you know, with the chest mount. You, you got it, it's pinned here close to your chest. You can probably keep it away a little bit, give it a little bit more dimension on what's going out. Or um, even, you know, where you're, the clip on the helmet or the um, hat mount, pretty cool. I heard these are pretty awesome. I can't wait to try these out. But anyways, that's what came in the first package. Let's see this. Well, the inside here, this is, but this, this is pretty, I like this. I think with the different um, piece of foam on the inside, this would be a pretty good case. I mean, it'd be great for this stuff, but you know, maybe put a couple of GoPros in there too. It's not bad, not bad. Okay, let's set that aside. Let's see what else came in the package. Oh. Now, I talked to a lot of friends with the new GoPro. It's around here someplace, there it is. With the new GoPro, the lens is no longer um, removable. I've checked this out and it's true, the 7, the Hero 7, you could remove the lens and if it cracked or anything like that. So they recommended to get um, some lens protectors for it. So I got uh, one for the front, one for the back, and one for the little window here. Um, these are really cheap. They're like eight bucks. I'll put links down below on everything so you can check them out. Um, I bought these off of Amazon, I think $8. Uh, don't quote me on that, but it was pretty close to it. And the other one was $23, like I stated before. I know that's $23.99. I mean, and I got $50 worth of stuff here easily. You know, maybe even close to 100 but we'll put that there. Let's see what else we got. Okay, what is this? Let's see what this is. Oh! Nice! These are little carrying cases for your memory cards. Let's see how you open this. There you go. You put your little memory cards in there, two, four, six, you can put 12 memory cards in there on each one. And for two of them, they came with two, okay? Two of these was, I believe, $9 or $12. Again, I'll put the link down there. It wasn't much at all, it was very, very cheap. Um, again, I'm a very frugal shopper. Um, I'm, I'm not sponsored by any of these people that's you know, not yet anyways, you know, call me up if you want to sponsor me. But, um, another thing I wanted to tell you about, I bought my GoPro from b and I bought uh, the GoPro Hero 8, I bought the mic, I bought some memory cards, I bought uh, a filter, um, and um, a couple of other things, and I bundled it all together. And the more things you buy from b and which is really good, they give you a little break, a little discount, okay? I bought the GoPro, they're normally $3.99, it was on sale for $50 off, okay, so it was $34.99, or $349, so not only, that was $50 bucks off right there, and then I got a bunch of other things, I talked to them about it, and they gave me a really good discount of another, I think it was $45, because I bought so much stuff, I'm not saying, you know, they do that all the time, but, you know, if you don't ask you don't get right so I asked they gave me I believe it was $45 additional off and then one other thing that uh, I really really like they have this payboo p-a-y-b-o-o payboo um, account I applied for it they gave me credit and they waived the tax they well payboo actually pays for the tax Okay, so I saved well over a hundred dollars on 
my GoPro and the things that I bought from B&H. So that's, that's a good road to consider. Um, I recommend that, which is really nice. And watch out, you know, the, the GoPros, they go on sale, you know? You'll see them around for, you know, three, four, nine. Right now there's a bundle of, they're three ninety nine, dollars but then you get a, a, a head strap, you get a, a, a floaty thing with it, um, probably a little bit better than what we have here. So they give you like $50 worth of stuff, which is great, you can't beat it. But anyways, um, let's see what else we got in here. Let's move this out of the way. I'm making a mess over here. Ugh. Now this is what I've been waiting for. This is the Ulanzi G8. It's a cage for my GoPro. I heard these things are just amazing. So, let's see how we open this up here. Here we go, we got some stickers. Ulanzi sticker, okay. I love stickers by the way. Oh, wow. This is pretty solid. Huh, got the cold shoe mount here. The cold shoe mount there. Now, what I am going to do is they have a little uh, legs for the bottom of this. I'm going to be vlogging when I'm out fishing and things like that. And I want something durable and everybody was telling me the microphones aren't too good. So I am going to take my Rode mics and attach them. One straight here. One here, and then this way, I can have a really good sound system for my GoPro. Okay, and I don't have to worry about it. And these come with um, little dead cats too to help with the noise because I've, I've done, like, again, I've done research with the GoPros. I've seen the, um, uh, I've actually, I've heard the mics on these and they're, they're okay, don't get me wrong, but when there's wind, Forget it, forget about it. It's terrible. Um, you're not gonna be happy with that at all. Um, and you don't wanna hear much of, you know, I, I turn videos off because of that. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube and I said, you know what, there's, there's, there's a lot I can contribute, you know, when it comes to things like this. So um, I will let you know how this turns out. I can't wait to start vlogging so you can see my first one. Um, I will, let you know when I first get out, we're in this lockdown, so I can't wait to get out. The next episode, we're gonna do um, a fishing reel. I got some new fishing poles being built right now. Um, they are from United Composites. Uh, my friend Jim Tacnic is doing it. Uh, Jim's custom fishing rods. And I went over there and took a sneak peek at them. These things are going to be amazing. I got a 10 foot jig stick coming. Um, I have a seven foot bait stick and a seven and a half foot rail rod. Okay, my quest in life is to get a cow tuna. <laughs> Anybody that knows about fishing, deep sea fishing, a cow tuna is any a tuna fish that's over 200 pounds. And then you have a super cow which is over 300 pounds. I'll be happy, I came close you know, with the 172, I believe it was, but nothing over 200. That is my goal, is a big cow tuna. And that's why I got all this stuff, because I want to document it when I get it. So, um, anyways, let me show you the reel that I'm going to be tricking out. Okay, here's my uh, JX that I have for my jig stick. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of... I like to custom do a little bit of things to my stuff, so I'm going to be polishing the exterior of this, and I'll, I'll take it down you know, uh, to a shop over here, and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. Um, we're going to put some new uh, blue components on here as well, you know, to match the theme of the rod. So 
uh, stay tuned for that. That'll be on my next episode. Uh, thank you very much for um, watching the first episode of The Real Estate Dude. Real Estate Dude. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, Cordy name. Um, anyways, I wanted to say God bless. Thank you very much. Um, if you like what you see, there'll be plenty more videos coming around. Uh, give me a, um, a thumbs up and um, a subscribe. And if anything else you want to talk about, any topics or anything, or how I can improve my channel, um, if you want to know anything about it, go ahead and comment. Comments are always good. Um, anyways, I'm out. God bless. And you guys stay safe out there. Thank you.